Hello everyone, Alex Crouch here with a load more World Cup facts for you here today because once again, Ireland have done it. They have beaten a full test nation again. This time the West Indies, as you can see there. Scalp claimed in 2015 to add to Pakistan and England in the previous two World Cups. They also chased 300 for a third time. See, a record in the World Cup, 328 against England. That was in 2011. Also in 2011, they chased 307, set by, a target set by the Netherlands. The West Indies we just now set them 305 to win, and they chased it. There have only been two other chases of 300 plus in the World Cup. Sri Lanka against Zimbabwe, they chased 313 in 1992, and England 301 against the West Indies in 2007. Remarkable, isn't it? And they're not playing test cricket. Still, they are good enough. They should be playing test cricket. I don't like to do this because it's opinion in what's meant to be a fact video. But they are clearly good enough to give Bangladesh, Zimbabwe and even the West Indies now a decent run and possibly beat them over five days. And the fact that they may not be in the next World Cup in 2019 because there will only be 10 teams in it is utterly ridiculous and that should be changed. The World Cup should be 14 teams or even 16 teams. G going back to the, the, the test status for Ireland, imagine what it would do for European cricket if there were two test teams. It'd be a, it would be a massive boost for, test, for top level cricket in, the, in Europe. And how fun would an annual test between England and Ireland be? It'd be amazing. But, you know, I, I, unfortunately I don't make the rules, otherwise they'd have been granted test status by now. We'll see. We'll see. We'll return to normal non-ranting videos tomorrow. That is, unless Scotland beat New Zealand. <laughs> see ya.